hello everyone welcome to a new video uh, in, this, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a telemetry system live telemetry for uh, uh, to get data f from drone um, so here I have um, two two parts of this project we have basically the receiver this is the receiver and this is the transmitter this transmitter uh, sits on the drone itself when it's fly um, and this receiver I uh, will um, I will keep it um, next to me to see on the screen the OLED screen the data I will uh, show the battery per percentage that's left I will show the uh, temperature and altitude using a BMP 280 uh, sensor uh, it will also use with a BMP 180 um, not a big difference in the code uh, and also um, and also the GPS data which is velocity um, latitude longitude and number of satellites that are connected um, with the module um, and that's it pretty much so I'm using two controllers two uh, boards of ESP32 uh, V4 uh, it will work perfectly with other versions so um, here's uh, the ESP I just uh, made a 3D print to uh, keep it safe and uh, later uh, I want to um, to mount it uh, to my controller and see the, um, the data on the screen so um, the codes by the way the codes will be provided in the later in this video okay um, you can see in the description description below you have all the files so uh, for measuring the battery voltage uh, I made here um, just a very simple voltage um, divider um, it's not the best and precise but it's um, good to give an uh, indication good enough indication for when should I stop um, uh, uh, fly the drone and go for landing so now I'll show you um, that it works obviously we will go outside because we need the uh, GPS antenna will um, receive some uh, satellites so here we are again guys we're outside we have uh, the two, the two uh, parts let's just give it power for the receiver here it goes the OLED screen is on and for it to um, to work we need obviously um, to connect power to the uh, all this transmitter um, circuit and in a moment we will also see um, the GPS starts blinking which says it gets the ah oh, it goes gets the data from the satellite and let's see on the screen what's going on so um, at the moment I didn't connect the battery I also have the temperature which is 29.25 Celsius the altitude uh, which given um, uh, by the uh, BMP sensor and you can see the speed which uh, we don't move if I move the um, the GPS model uh, we will have speed in set satellite number is five it could grow to more connection with more satellites and the altitude um, given by the satellites is 61 meters so I just want to show you the speed uh, I can I'm moving now the model a little bit and you can see the speed increase 
okay so if I start walking obviously the speed will be much uh, bigger so guys I just want to show you the implementation of the voltage divider uh, for measuring the voltage uh, battery of the drone here's my battery here beneath the drone um, I connected it to the uh, voltage divider this resistor is 51 kilo ohms this one is 10 kilo ohms um, and here we have the uh, division of uh, 1 to 5 um, and again this is the transmitter it transmits the data for the receiver so here we have percentage of 91% of battery um, I guess it's not that precise right now because I need to do some adjustments. Uh, I need to do some um, uh, some changes in the code uh, to get this precise. I think it's from other uh, battery of uh, different uh, size of cells. Uh, so let's see uh, what the capacity controller gives us. So yeah, the uh, capacity controller gives us 71%. Uh, let's see, yeah, total of 71%. It's not accurate, accurate right now, but for you and the code, I will make it accurate. Just need to disconnect this in order to work. And then you can see the percentage go up again okay just for you to see that it works if I disconnect it so the percentage goes down to zero basically okay so this is the implementation of the uh, battery which is depends how much cells you have if you have battery or f battery of uh, three cells four cells uh, you have to make it uh, changes in the code uh, which I show you in the code, okay? So guys, we uh, came back in. We just uh, saw the um, the boards in action, the receiver and transmitter. Um, uh, worth mentioning that the, um, the com communication between the two boards uh, is by protocol called uh, ESP Now. Um, you can see it in the code so basically the transmitter um, this board is the master and this one is the slave the slave just gets the uh, all the data all the information from the transceiver uh, it, it can can't go um, it can't send data to the transmitter obviously okay so uh, also the com communication range should be um, up to 400 meters okay so let's take a look on the code we have two codes this is the transmitter code we have here also the receiver code so we'll start with the transmitter okay so here we just uh, some definitions and the libraries uh, then we have here we have the MAC address of the receiver board so first you have to know what the MAC address of the receiver board using a different code very simple uh, and fill it here okay then some definitions uh, for the uh, message packets that you want to send uh, here are the, I uh, define all the parameters I want to uh, send to the receiver which is the battery voltage this is I guess the um, temperature and the altitude um, just give it uh, whatever names you want um, then we have uh, also uh, some parts of the uh, protocol of ESP now um, 
we have to put this in the code and then we have the setup uh, in the setup we'll start with the uh, some BMP uh, checking and the GPS and then we have the loop the interesting part of the of the code uh, which is also very easy you can change it to uh, anything basically you want to uh, transfer to the receiver uh, as part of the telemetry system so as you can see I chose to read the uh, analog analog pin then we move to the uh, temperature using the BMP sensor and also the altitude then GPS values we want to to show which is the speed uh, the satellite's number and the altitude uh, that's it pretty much uh, we will show every half a second will be updated and send to the receiver now this is the receiver code so this one is uh, way more simple uh, this code um, almost never changes uh, because uh, here you just get the all the messages and you want to uh, display it on the screen on the old screen so as long as you uh, don't make I uh, want to add uh, new sensors to your to your system. Uh, this code doesn't change. So these are um, some uh, libraries for the uh, OLED screen you can see. And then I also add um, a Kalman filter just for filtering the uh, battery voltage because it was very very spiky. I want to um, Make it more smooth uh, and um, and clear all the noise. And again, you can see the um, this is the uh, struct message, same as in the uh, transmitter mode, uh, transmitter code. Uh, no change. And this is the loop. Again, the uh, more interesting part, which I display every of. Um, every one of um, our values. So I start with the uh, battery voltage. Uh, here I uh, used this is the common filter estimation, and here I did the calculation to show the the percentage, the battery voltage in the, that's left in percentage. So um, basically, this uh, and you can change it for any battery you want you just have to change um, some of the values I'll show you now so uh, this is uh, 17.5 is the 100% voltage of the battery okay of um, for a uh, for cell battery so basically 6 you need to multiply all of this in 6 because uh, on the 10 kilo resistor, we measure only the voltage on the 10 kilo resistor. So, in order to get the 100%, you need to multiply it by 6 because uh, 5 out of 6 of the of the of this voltage is falling on the 51 kilo ohm, and one of six uh, of the total voltage. Is falling on the 10 kilo resistor, so you have to multiply by six, and then 3.3 just uh, and uh, 4095 just the it's just uh, converting from the analog to digital signal, and uh, multiply by 100 to make it a percentage. Uh, that's it. So basically, you have to change only this if you use different battery. Um, and this if you use a different uh, resistance ratio. Uh, here I just display um, the temperature, receive data point A, uh, and then the altitude from the VMP sensor, and then the speed, satellite number, and altitude 2, which is the um, 
altitude from the GPS. That's it. Again, the values refresh every half a second. You can change it if you want. Um, that's it. That's the code available in the description below. So this is the project, guys. Uh, you can see, obviously, I can't right now put it on a drone. It's um, too many wires. I can't uh, use a breadboard on a drone, flying drone. So um, in the next video, um, I am going to implement this whole project on a PCB. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to make a PCB uh, with the help of PCBWay.